I'm Dawn. Rob. And this is the Green TV Weekly Show. First of all, to kick us off, we thought we'd start the year with a look at transport. But first of all, some good news. Some great news, yes indeed. So the most polluted city in the whole world, New Delhi, are looking to clean up their act. To help beat the smog, they're only letting cars with odd or even number plates drive in the city on set days. And it does seem to be working. But interestingly, motorbikes, taxi drivers and women are still allowed to drive whenever they like. I guess, I guess the smallies can fit more on the road. The motorbikes? Yeah, yeah, the motorbike. In other news, Faudo Future have released release their new concept electric car. 1000 horsepower FF01. And the name kind of sounds like something from a Batman film. And when you look at the car, it looks like the Batmobile. So Rob, tell me and tell us, who are Faraday Future? Well, Dawn, it's been partly funded by Ya Yutin, a Chinese billionaire who owns the Chinese version of Netflix. Indeed, and with four former directors from Tesla Motors at the helm, it really has some incredible talent. A bit like you're seeing on other awesome. things. The innovation and setup they have going really does look like they're going to start rewriting the future of the car industry. I mean, with their first car being a race car, we might see in the future them even getting involved in Formula E. Yep, and with the success of last year's Formula E championships, we're looking forward to them continuing again this year. I think the next round is set for Buenos Aires on the 6th of February. Last year, it attracted over 56 million views worldwide for the first three races. So it's pretty incredible numbers. It's getting more and more popular. Well, I think with their popularity, I'm yeah. going to put something out there that I think Formula E may overtake Formula One. Yeah, that's pretty controversial, Rob. I mean, some people get quite passionate about Formula One, so uh, oh, might start having some hating on you there. Having some hating on you. But there's been some discussion about how they actually generate that electricity. Currently, they've been using a sugar-like waste product from biodiesel. They have, but I think they're working now with a company called Aquafuel to look at alternatives, one of them being making sustainable electricity from algae. Now, let me introduce you to the very catchily named V164-8.0MW. V-164 oh, my favourite wind. Look how turbine it is. Okay, so Rob, be astounded, okay? okay? One, simple rotation of those turbine yep. blades will actually power a normal domestic house for 29 hours. And you're getting in your little electric car, you're zooming along down the road. That one rotation again will actually last you a whole 40 miles. So Donald Trump, put that in your little toupee and smoke it. Oh yeah, I don't really understand that. The world is my playground. Uncanny. I know, right? <laughs> well, you've heard of autonomous driving? Try this on the side, autonomous flying. Ooh, it fits. This is the fully electric helicopter, the Evolo from Volocopter. Currently, it's in development, but in only about two to three years' time, they're going to have the commercial version of it. You know, uh, Solar Impulse 2, mm. the world record breaking solar plane? Well, it's doing some other stuff this year. The solar powered plane will be completing some ground tests in Hawaii in February and is set to take off on its next leg of the journey in April. Us here at Green TV are pretty excited and going to be watching it like a hawk. Okay, so Rob, I've got a question for you. Another question, so many questions. Um, do you think that the, like the year 2060 will be the year when um, electric transport really takes off? <sighs> no. It's just embarrassing. No. See you next week. Thanks for everything. Bye. Love you.